Thank you. I rise today in support of my bill, the Great American Outdoors Act, and to express my gratitude for so many of my friends and colleagues, including the 252 co-sponsors from both sides of the aisle, who are working with me to secure the greatest achievement for conservation in a generation. Mr. Speaker, my bipartisan legislation gives Congress a chance to deliver a massive win, not only for our irreplaceable parks and public lands, but also, also for this institution as a whole, by showing the American people that we can work together and keep our promises. The Great American Outdoors Act will honor our nation's commitment to conservation in two important ways. First, it fully and permanently funds the Land and Water Conservation Fund, our most important conservation program. LWCF preserves the best of America, ensuring that hunting, fishing, boating, hiking, and other recreational access for all of our constituents. It is the backbone of our $778 billion economy, which accounts for over 5 million jobs across this country. It protects working forests and the jobs that they support in the woods and the mills. And here's the best part. It does it all without spending a dime of taxpayer money. Despite this, we've consistently fallen short in utilizing the full amount of funds in LWCF. Over the past 55 years, we've only spent half the money that we've deposited in the fund, thereby creating an unsustainable backlog in the low country and across this nation. This legislation will fix that, ensuring at long last that these funds are spent how they were intended. Second, it will relieve the growing multi-billion dollar maintenance backlog in our national forests, uh, parks, and other federal public lands, from crumbling roads and eroding trails to aging water systems and deteriorating historic sites and visitor centers, the widespread disrepair of our national treasures is only getting worse. The Great American Outdoors Act will address this as well by making essential investments to reverse the damage while creating over 100,000 jobs in the process. Mr. Speaker, this legislation is grounded in two basic principles that Congress should invest funding set aside for conservation towards the public good, and that we should pay the maintenance bills we've already accrued. It's time that we honor our promises. In South Carolina, the LWCF has protected the hallowed ground of Fort Sumter, uh, the living outdoors classroom of Congaree National Park, the Pitt Street Bridge and Mount Pleasant, Folly Beach Boardwalk, and literally hundreds of other local and state parks. In my district, LWCF protected the Ace Basin, which is the largest undeveloped estuary on the Atlantic coast, providing a home for the area's incredible wildlife, a source of recreation for sportsmen and women, and a, and a natural safeguard for our coastal communities from the devastating weather events. Just this past week, I heard from our veterans about the important role that public lands play in the healing process for many men and women transitioning back to civilian life. They told me how access to nature and the outdoors has helped find a sense of calm and peace. The power of these places to heal and unite us reaches all the way back here to Washington, where my bill is supported by the speaker, the minority leader, and by the large bipartisan majority. 73 senators have already voted for this bill, and President Trump has specifically asked for us to send it to his desk. In this current climate of division and discord, the Great American Outdoors Act is exemplary of the fact that Republicans and Democrats can still come together to pursue common sense solutions and do right by our public lands and keep our word. Mr. Speaker, I invite all my colleagues to join me in supporting our communities, families, public lands, and our economy by voting to pass the Great American Outdoors Act. I yield back.